guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a topic video on top five DC Rebirth titles, I guess, so far. And the person who recommended this is uh, Shadow Knight 26. So if you want to go check out their channel, in the description below there will be a link. And guys, if you have any recommendations for future topic videos, please let me know in the comments below. If I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks I'll either be on Comic Uno or Comic Frontline because I double dose my topic videos. Uh, so be sure to recommend away. But let's start talking about this topic, which is top five DC Rebirth titles. Now, this is a topic idea I've gotten a lot of times, but it was when DC Rebirth was just kind of launching. So it was hard to to say what was the best DC Rebirth title because you got to give it some time. Now that it's been over a year, uh, it's a good time to tell you what my favorite DC Rebirth titles were. At first I was going to make this a top 10 list, but honestly there aren't as many DC Rebirth titles as I expected. You know, as you read it and it being double shipped, you feel like there's more, but there's not that many. So I end up making it a top 5 list. So of course we're going to go 5 to 1. So number 5 for me is... Deathstroke. Now this is a series that's kind of been up and down for me, but when it's good, it's really good. The artwork is always really consistent also. It's very good uh, for this kind of action-driven uh, storyline, but I love when this book is focusing on Deathstroke and his family, and recently in the past couple of months, that's what the book has been doing, and now it's kind of like this hidden Teen Titans book, which is awesome, like the darker version of the Teen Titans. So I like that aspect. I'm enjoying this whole family dynamic, and now Teen Titans dynamic and I think it's it's really improved as a series. It's also a book I look forward to because I do like a lot of the characters. Now moving on to number four, another book that I think I, that has improved a lot and has been a nice addition in DC Rebirth is Superwoman. Um, I really like that Lana Lane became Superwoman and that's why this title is on this list. I will say when um, the original creative team was on the book, it wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be. But now that this new creative team has jumped on, it's where the book I expected to be in the beginning. Uh, you know, Lana being this human with these Kryptonian powers, it's a lot of fun, uh, especially as Lana being that best friend of Clark. So she has these memories, but she's also trying to be this hero, uh, but very much her own character. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a character that appeared in DC Rebirth uh, that I hope can stay for the next couple of years and, and longer. So moving on to number three, a book and also been very solid, but I just love the direction that it's taken these characters in DC Rebirth, and that is Green Lanterns. Uh, so this is Jessica and Baz's uh, comic book, where these two characters were not really utilized before DC Rebirth. Yeah, Jessica, like, she was in Justice League, but they didn't really utilize her. She was struggling with the Power Ring and, and not being a Green Lantern yet. And then Simon, they introduced him, and then they just, like, threw him away for a couple years and never used him. And now, finally, they had a place to bring these two characters, and they made such a good friendship. I love their dynamic and that they didn't like each other originally. Now they, they feel like partners, and, and they don't force, like, a romantic relationship that I think easily could have been done here, but they're truly friends and that's something I really respect and it feels like a buddy cop comic which what are the Green Lanterns are you know cops in space so it feels like a cop comic in in a lot of ways and I enjoy that aspect a lot now moving on to number two and this I'm kind of including the first run of the comic uh, because we're just getting into this kind of new creative team uh, but Wonder Woman uh, I've never really been a huge Wonder Woman fan I respect the character but I've never really been able to get into her own series but man Greg Rucka's run on Wonder Woman got me really invested in the character uh, you know very very good to have right before the Wonder Woman movie uh, in the artwork by Nicola Scott, Liam Sharp, uh, tremendous. I, I love the direction Wonder Woman went, and I like that we got this whole year one storyline of this naive Wonder Woman, but then the Wonder Woman we all know uh, that has grown. And I really like the relationship she's established with everybody, but especially Cheetah, uh, which has always been that character is like, all right, let's fight, you know, and that's it. Uh, I've never personally seen that that personal uh, storyline between the two, so I like that. And of course, Steve. Trevor, you know, really making an organic romantic relationship uh, relationship between Diana and Steve. 
Now moving on to my number one favorite book, which has been Tom King's Batman. Uh, I love Tom King's Batman. It's been some of the best Batman stories I've read in a very long time. And I like Scott Snyder's Batman, but I actually enjoy King's version a bit more. Uh, I, I love the introduction of Gotham uh, and Gotham Girl. Really like those two characters. Um, I also like this uh, whole poetic... Uh, you know, kind of more film-like uh, version of Batman. Um, so yeah, and, and I do like that we get to see some of the supporting characters. That's been nice too. It's not just Batman. I know Detective Comics is more for the Bat family, but we do get to see, uh, again, Gotham Girl, and now Catwoman's been really introduced here. So really been enjoying what he's been doing with Batman, and I can't wait to see uh, where he takes Batman. So that is my top five list. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite DC, DC Rebirth titles after, you know, it's been, a, been a, over a year now for, the, for DC Rebirth. So I think now we can give our top five. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.